<laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Um, hi, I'm Cleo Kelly from Lincoln Southwest. Hi, Cleo. Okay. Um, and this is an open letter to my songbird. Dear Songbird, I chose the alias because there's an incredible amount of songs that remind me of you, either because I've heard you sing them or I secretly dedicated them to you in my head, and now Maroon 5 is ruined forever. Uh, sometimes they're happy songs that I like to play at full volume in my car because it'll take me back to the blissful memories that we share. Granted, what we had was very small, it was a mere hint at love. Other times the songs are dismal ballads that I like to belt out in the shower longing or that I belt out in the shower longing for a future with you. Songbird, I call you this because your name is always stuck in my head on repeat. Every once in a great while, when I feel particularly lonely, I'll go on my old phone and return to the ancient conversations between you and I, which I never deleted from the first time I got your number. Uh, I return to the messages and it's a chaotic mess of up and down emotions ranging from a sense of optimism and hope to wanting to delete the entire thread because I get so angry about what we almost had. Never did I want to be with a person so badly. Never had I tried so hard and then have nothing to show for it. We used to flirt with each other, and it all seemed so natural. It had this sense of freedom that only birds could fathom. The flexibility of flight of going wherever their fragile hearts desired. Songbird, when I started writing this, I was 1,250 miles away from you. 1,250 miles from the bedroom with the Harry Potter posters that my heart ached for. You might think I'm talking of my own, but it's yours. From the overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly fresh scent of your Star Wars bedspread to the delicate curve of your silhouette lying next to mine in the almost darkness. It's your bedroom that I miss. Uh, I figured being geographically far from you would make it easier to move on. Now I'm only a short drive away from your bedroom, and seeing you is just painful. Because I always want more than you can give me, because of him. Songbird, I see you with him. I see you, and it's like a sharp piece of glass twisting around in my heart, because... Oh, twisting around my heart. I miss you even when we're in the same room, because I know you're thinking of him and not me. You would think knowing that you're happy with someone would make me happy for you. But, Songbird, the only emotions... I get from that fact is jealousy, rage, and sadness. If you only knew, knew how much I love you or how often I lay awake at night thinking about you and what we could have been, you once told me that timing is everything in regards to us being together. Timing is a key aspect in migration and also falling out of love. You just have to know when to start. If songbirds can learn how to do it, maybe I can too.